All right, I hereby call the order this regularly scheduled meeting of the Sunderland Select Board. The time is 6.30 p.m. Our first order of business will be to approve the minutes of our last meeting, July 15th, 2024. I motion we approve the minutes of July 15th. Second. We have a motion made and seconded to approve the minutes of July 15th. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing, Jeff. Thank you. All righty. First order of business is a recommendation to appoint an interim town administrator. Yes. Um, so I'm pleased to record, oh, excuse me, to recommend Margaret Nardowitz. Um, she is a former town administrator here in Sunderland, in Berlin, and in Rutland, and a town clerk here in Amherst. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so lots of municipal experience, uh, recently retired, um, obviously experience in Sunderland, knows the community, was here for 10 years. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think Sunderland is fortunate <laughs> that Margaret is available and willing to come in. I think that I, it would be we would be hard pressed to find somebody short term to that could do a better job. So um, I have no hesitation whatsoever to recommend her as the intro. Wonderful. And coming from you, that is high praise. So thank you very much. Um, does the board have any questions? No. No. I'm. Don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, at me. Um, all right, well, I would love to have you on board. Um, I'm assuming you just need a, a motion? Yeah, or? vote, and then uh, Margaret and I can work out the details, and I'm assuming starting next week is okay. Uh, oh, I will start, yes, I'll okay. start on Monday. Okay. Yeah, and I understand that it's for up to 20 hours a week, yeah. um, and that, that shouldn't be a problem at all. Um, I will attend all the select board meetings during this, this interim period. Um, and I know you're going to be, we're going to be talking about the uh, town administrator search process in a few minutes, but yeah. um, I'm sure you, know, you want this to move forward expediently, so I will, I will be working to, to help you do that. Wonderful. Okay. So, um, if, do you have like a drop dead date that you cannot be helping us after? No, I don't. I, I, but I do know that it would be in the town's best interest yep. to get a new town administrator on board at the start of yep. the budget process with no delay. Um, in fact, if the board feels um, that it would be helpful, depending on who you select, um, I, could, I could stay on in a transition period to kind of help that yep. person get their feet wet and, no. and things like that. So I yep. don't have a drop dead date. Um, I'm going back to retirement. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I just, you know, if you, had a, if you had a cruise that was leaving on the no, 30th no. of, of, of October, we need to know. Yeah, so we're all set yeah. For yeah. no, okay. I just didn't know if you know as well as I do. Sometimes you start that hiring process and you think that, oh, we're going to offer it to this person. Everything looks wonderful. And then that person says, yeah, not interested. And sometimes you're recreating the wheel when you have to start over again. So I'll stay on as long as you need me and until the new town administrator is set. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Well, in that case, I would entertain a motion to appoint Margaret the town administrator. Motion to, motion to appoint Margaret Nardwitz as the uh, interim town administrator. Second. All right, we have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye, three nothing. Thank you all. Well, thank, <laughs> you. Forward to thank, thank you. you. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Welcome aboard. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, um, and in that same vein, our next order of business is a discussion around the hiring process for our new uh, full-time town administrator. Yeah, so... I guess the, the first major decision point is whether you want to try and do this in-house or you want to go out and hire a firm. There are a couple firms that I'm familiar with. Margaret might know more. I know the Collins Center at UMass Boston does executive searches. Um, Paradigm, Community Paradigm um, does a lot of searches. And um, the former HR director in Amherst also can do searches. Um, so depending on what level, I mean, I, Bernie Lynch and Community Paradigm, I, I do a lot, I know. They do and a lot. M MRI does a lot. Um, and you mentioned the Collins Center. They do a lot. There is a hefty cost <laughs> to recruitments, depending on what you want done. I mean, you could co it could cost over $10,000 to recruit a town administrator using one of the, the firms. Um, I, uh, but I'd like the board's, I'd like the board's thoughts on what, it, I do believe it's possible to do it in-house, um, and uh, Deborah Radway, who is the former HR director in Amherst, um, does some part-time things on the side. 
I know her and could potentially um, get her involved um, you know, at some places in the recruitment process. I think there would be a cost savings and I think it would be more efficient than hiring um, one of the search firms uh, to okay. do. One of, my, one of my concerns is just availability of the search firm of like, is it gonna be faster or slower in the end to do in-house or not? Um, in-house, we start right away. You know, and whatnot. We, the firms we may or may not be able to engage them quickly. So that would be one of the, the things I would want to have an answer to before we made the decision. Is are any of the firms available? Or is is are they going to tell us? Oh yeah, sure, no problem. We're booking out in December now, or something like that. So I would just want to be sure that we're not making the process longer by going in that direction. Um, in general, I like the idea of having there be a professional involved. Uh, I'm kind of leaning towards the former um, town clerk from HR. HR director, sorry, from well, Amherst, yeah. uh, um, because that sounds more like it would fit our circumstances personally. But um, love to hear what the other members of the board would have. It was just like when you were you hired using a firm, or was it? In no, it was um, it was independently. I will say that that select board uh, had been together for 12 years yeah. and I think had gone through the search for Sherry, right? Because you mm -hmm. had, you were with David and mm -hmm. Tom, Tom Scott. Scott. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so they had gone through a search before that. Um, and yeah, but they just advertised, I think, with the MMA right. and the local papers. Um, my understanding is they took all the resumes that they got, they passed it around to staff, staff recommended three or four people, and then the select board had two rounds of interviews. Um, I think that one of the advantages of a search firm is they have a broader reach. They'll do a community profile, um, which, you know, we'll say in the ad, town of Sunderland, 3,600 people, more or less, you know, this is what our budget is, but they go into depth saying, hey, this is, you know, a project that they're doing, or they, this town has a new school, or, you know, they're really focused on capital investment, so it can help attract the type of people that you're looking for. Yeah. Um, but, again, I mean, like you said, you can start the process fairly quickly, independently, and if you're not getting the type of candidates that you're excited about, you can always broaden it through another. So, what did Deerfield use for South County when they were looking for their ambulance director, chief? They used an outside somebody. They might, if the MRI is, does a lot of the public safety executive position, so it could have been MRI, or there's another one, and I can't think of the name of it. But can you just reach out and just even ask, you know, because by the time I was involved with the South County, it was in the interview process, but they already had, you know, narrowed down their candidates. And just even just see how happy they were with it what type of cost they were looking at associated with that yep. because obviously at the end of the day this it has to be something reasonably priced um if we start looking at 10 12 14 thousand dollars for a headhunter i i can tell you that i having gone through the recruitment process myself a couple of times, um, I have a community profile statement and challenge statement um, that I've kind of taken. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a template that, that I use that I think that we could, and, and I could do this in concert with Deb uh, Radway, um, that we could kind of finesse and make it Sunderland's. Yeah. So that's something that we could probably save some money on. I also think that Deb, Deborah Radway has, um, has, uh, I don't wanna say connections, but she has the avenues she needs um, that, that she's aware of where we can, we can post the position as broadly as possible. Mm -hmm. And those things combined would save money. There is a part of the recruitment process that is gonna cost a, a little bit extra over and above um, it, the, HR, the former HR director if she, does, if she does help out here, and that is uh, the background search. You're going to want to have a thorough background yep. search on your new administrator, so the credit check and criminal background history and, and all of that stuff. And that is a separate, we could, we could contract that out separately at a smaller at a smaller cost than doing the full recruitment. Process. But we're going to want to do that whether we go with a firm or whether we do that in-house. We're going to want to do that either way. So that's, it's yeah. going to have to happen, yeah. Right. 
Um, and we do have, so what I want to try to balance is not putting too much uh, on your plate coming in for an interim and expecting you to do the whole search. I, I don't want to add too much to the board's plate because we are all already busy people with full-time jobs and just do a lot of hours for this. Um, obviously, I want to do what's right fiscally for the town, but we do also have some play because we're going from a full-time administrator to a part-time administrator, so there is some money in the general town administrator budget to be able to pay for maybe not $10,000 worth of search, but maybe a couple thousand dollars for the former HR um, woman from Amherst and for the other various things we would need to do that. Um, so I just want to kind of find that middle ground that makes us happy. Um, and largely it's going to be what you feel comfortable doing on your end because um, a lot of the extra with, stuff. Um, I expect to meet with Jeff uh, this week. So mm -hmm. I can share with Jeff um, the steps in the recruitment process that, that I've followed and the draft um, kind of a sample uh, community uh, the community and challenge statement so we can we can um, share that with the select board great that sounds good now as yeah. far as the background check and only because this is actually something very recent coming up with south county ems they're in the process of drafting a background check policy so i don't know if i think that that's something uh, the background check has to happen whether right. we contract it out with someone right. other than deb radway or if deb could actually run that part of it for us. I'm not sure that she is an authorized um, yeah. agency to, to do that, but that is absolutely something we could look at. Um, and uh, I don't know that we need to draft a policy on that. Well, no, only, I guess the reason I'm bringing that up is South County EMS is planning to conduct their background checks internally, getting people, you know, qualified to do this. So I'm wondering would would that be another resource we could use their people if they are qualified to do it if they're authorized yeah as long as they're as long as they're authorized yeah um, you know and like i said I, I can leave you a copy of this just okay. you know to see like what they're planning on doing and if it even meets the needs for what great dan do you have anything else no do you have any questions or anything no, no, I mean, I, I certainly have full confidence in Margaret and Deb's ability to hire somebody. It's, it's like you said, it's a matter of time and priorities and whether okay. or not that, that's something that... So, Margaret, if you're going to be meeting with Jeff starting tomorrow or this week or whatever, do you want your start date to be earlier than next um, Monday? I didn't even think about it. My start date can be when I'm appointed. And when, not when I'm appointed, I'm sorry, but when I'm sworn in. So okay. whenever, I, if, if Wendy is around and I'm sworn in, then, then we could yeah. get paperwork. Yeah, because we definitely want to make sure you're compensated for yeah. this yeah. time also. Because okay. it's your Thank time. You. Yeah, of course. Um, so the two of you can start talking about that as soon as possible. Um, it sounds like what, what we're saying is start the process, talk to Deb, start figuring out the sort of in-house plus, you know, path. Um, and if we get a little ways in and we decide, wow, we need more help with this than we thought, then we can start talking about other resources and that kind of thing. Does that sound good to the board? Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. Thank you. Right. Thank you, Jeff. All right, um, we have... Welcome back. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it's so good to be back. Gosh, I love this town. This is like full circle. This is a lovely town, I have to say. I love it. I love the people here, too. I can't wait to reunite with some of, the, oh, some yeah. of the folks in town and so oh i'm sure there'll be people who, who will come back to stop back in because they remember <laughs> just to visit because they know margaret's back yeah. <laughs> um year-end transfers we have three transfers is that correct jeff yep you want to um, give us a little background yeah so at the end of every fiscal year there are some accounts in surplus there are some accounts in deficit and the accountants um make recommendations to take some from the surplus and balance out the deficit. Okay. Uh, this year there were three accounts. Um, there were some last minute um, police expenses, including uh, the purchase of bulletproof vests that we're gonna get reimbursed for, but haven't. Um, and there were some vehicle repairs that needed to be done. Um, there was also, so police general expense, um, 
a deficit of $30,819.30. Um, the cemetery fund had a deficit of $1,523.75. Um, and then the frontier out of district transportation had a deficit of $12,625. And um, I think the majority of that was because we assumed that they were keep that the busing company was keeping the same rates that they have kept for ten years, which is should not have been an assumption. <laughs> <laughs> that was a faulty else. assumption. <laughs> <laughs> but the uh, the busing rates went up, so Yep. All right. And we're making those transfers from which accounts? Um, police full time wages, highway seasonal wages, and police part time wages. Um, we did have a, a full time officer who not wasn't full time the full year. So gotcha. there was some savings in that account. Okay. Yeah. And that covers the entire total of the, whatever, like thirty three thousand? Yep. Great. So um, the finance committee also needs to review this and sign off on it. So um, you can vote and sign off or vote contingent on the finance committees and assuming okay. they're just um, trying to schedule their meeting, but I haven't heard any questions about any of them. Okay. Crystal, do you have any questions on that one? No. All right. Okay. At this time, I would entertain a motion to um, approve the year end transfers contingent on approval by the finance committee. I motion we approve year end transfers contingent upon finance committee. Second. All right. We have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, three, nothing, Jeff. All right. Last up is review transition document. Yeah. So I started putting together a transition document that. Um, before I knew Margaret was coming, some of this is probably she knows already, but um, oh, this, is not, this is a this is a good guy. Oh God! Good. So it's just trying to give her an idea. Um, you know, some of the timely things that may be coming up. Um, I mentioned North Main Street sewer repair and what we're doing with that. Um, let's see. Um, personnel, the the you know vacant positions. Uh, a little bit about the budget process and when it kicks off, the fact that we have new accountants, um, information about technology, how to get in touch with our IT provider, um, SharePoint, I'll obviously share logins and all that, yep. Margaret. Um, a little bit about insurance, highway, roads and infrastructure, um, police, fire, the schools, including the roof replacement, um, and the windows. And and there's a water district. Margaret knows that. <laughs> Sorry, what was it? And the windows and everything else at the school. Um, well, the windows, yeah. Are those kind of all? They're that's pretty much taken care of. Oh, it's perfect. Good, uh, they're getting. They're being delivered. I don't think they're installed yet. Okay. But the uh, asbestos is big. Yeah, but we don't know what else we could run into until they're in. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> true. The um, fact that the wastewater treatment plant is uh, run by all states, um, South County EMS, South County Senior Center, um, Recreation, and then I mentioned a few of the capital projects, um, specifically the highway loader because um, we just signed the purchase to own lease, um, the backhoe and the truck for highway because both of those are in process and we just need to get our financials and then those will be ready to go. Um, and then the two town office building <laughs> projects that I haven't been able to get to, which is the front step replacement and the town office floor refinishing. Um, I also mentioned pickleball courts, school street redesign, um, trails grant. The trails grant. Um, Congratulations. Transportation. A little bit about boards and committees, focusing on village center, energy committee, and personnel committee, and finance committee. Those have been the most active. And, um, and then just the annual calendar to give. Again, I, Margaret probably made the calendar. <laughs> so I, know that, but I didn't know who was coming in, so just to give them an idea of what might be coming up. And can I assume that you will brief her on recent yeah. get concessions and, and going on yes. and whatnot? Yep. Okay. Yep, absolutely. Great. 
Any questions from the board on the documents? Or anything that you think of that we should include that Jeff didn't say? I don't think so. Just did you make sure to include your phone number and new address? <laughs> <laughs> you are going to give her your phone number. Right? <laughs> no, I. I Sonsky doesn't it. change his phone number. We all <laughs> no. have his phone number. Exactly. All right, wonderful. Um, I'm assuming you don't need us to vote on your transition documents. That was more just an informational kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, just to see if I was missing anything major and anything that you all wanted me to add or Margaret wanted me to add. Happy to. Just the part where we're taking over Deerfield and we're going to make it one big town. Uh, <laughs> we yeah, think we can run it. So I, I do have something. I just, it's full disclosure, I, do, I am on the Deerfield Finance Committee, but okay. I am, I've notified my appointing authority, the moderator, and mm -hmm. my chair, um, and the town clerk, that I am recusing myself for any, from any and all business relating in any way to Sunderland while I am serving as interim town administrator here. I've also spoken with the Ethics Commission already on this, so... I think we're all, we're all set. I just wanted you to be aware of that. No, well, appreciate the, the disclosure, but I don't see any problem with that. I have to disclose something every other week, so, <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right, uh, that concludes our new business. Um, under old business, first up, we have select board updates. Dan, do you have anything? I do not have anything this week. Crystal? No, our South County meeting got canceled last week, or postponed, so maybe next week I'll have something. All right. Um, I only have one thing, and that is just that um, it was brought to my attention that there was an incident in town recently um, that may have been hate motivated. Um, and I just want to remind everyone that the select board, the town, the people of Sunderland are vehemently against hate in all forms, um, and this is not the, the town for that. Um, and we fully stand behind any potential victims of any hate um, and encourage anyone who feels like they have been a victim of hate to bring that to the select board, to bring that to the town administrator, to bring that to the, the police, um, to come forward and please you know, let us know because we want to know, we want to do our best to try and prevent it, to make it right, and to keep it from happening again. And that's it for me. Jeff. Uh, just one update. Last week you um, awarded a contract for the Graves Memorial Library um, Historic Preservation Design contingent on um, the references checking out and, and talking to them. References were immaculate. Um, had a really good conversation with uh, it's Clark Green and Beck and the principal, I think is, his name is Stephen McAllister. And just everybody we spoke to said that they were great. They were really helpful in how to historically reuse any material that they weren't using and um, just seemed like really qualified and they're in Great Barrington, so not too, too far. Um, a lot of the firms are way east, so. May I ask, which, which firm is this? Which Clark Green and Beck, okay. uh, the architecture firm. Um, they're just gonna be writing the specs for the uh, repointing of the grid. Great. That's all I have. Wonderful. All right, um, any public comment from anyone I don't think there is anyone on, on the line. Anything, Chris, did you like to ask? No, I don't think so. I'm going to talk to Jeff at the meeting. Wonderful. All right. Um, in that case, I will take this last opportunity to just say, Jeff, it has been an absolute pleasure. I've learned so much from you in the last uh, two and a little bit of years. Um, I was hoping to learn more from you over the next bunch <laughs> of years, but we understand. Uh, and I hope that everything uh, in your new job is wonderful, and we look forward to working with you in your new capacity. Thank you. So don't forget that we are here and not saying you have to give us preferential treatment or anything, but, <laughs> you know, just saying. Um, all right. In that case, uh, our next meeting will be Monday, July, sorry, no, it will be August 12th. August 12th, thank you. Uh, Monday, August 12th at our normal 6.30 time. At this time, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. I have a motion we adjourn. Second. All right. We have a motion made and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing, Jeff. The time is 6.54.